All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. And it's going to be represented by this glomerulus in a nephron over here, who's rapidly progressing downward in this rocket. So rapidly progressing downward glomerulus nephron for rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. So rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, as the name suggests, has a poor prognosis. And what happens is there's rapidly deteriorating renal function. This disease is also called crescentic glomerulonephritis. And why is that? Well, let's take a look. So in this scene, we see the glomerulus nephron guy on the rocket watching this whole scene over here. Let's take a look at what he's looking at. There's this big rocket over here about to smash into this scene over here. This scene over here is going to remind us of what we find under the microscope of the glomerulus. Let's see. So what we find in the glomerulus is going to be the crescent shape in Bowman's space. That's why we have this moon over here. And if you take a look at it, we see the histology of that moon shape in Bowman's space. What is this crescent made up of? Well, it may look like collagen, but it's actually not. And it's really important to be aware of what it is made up of. The first thing we want to be aware of that it's made up of is fibrin, represented by this fighting guy with the rim. The fighting guy with the rim for fibrin. He's got the fire here to help us remember the inflammation. And then there's this macrophage that shows up in our videos with macrophages in it, because the crescent is also made up of macrophages. And the macrophage is standing on money over here for monocytes. And there's this random bee over here flying on the three C's, or the C3B, as well as other plasma proteins. So this is what the crescent is made up of, which we see under the microscope. Then we have this huge rocket over here. This is going to remind us of what we find under immunofluorescence. This rocket has some random stuff on it. And of course, the glomerulus nephron guy is really excited about it. Let's take a look what we find on the rocket. The first thing we see over here is the grains. First possibility of what we find under immunofluorescence in this disease is the granular immunofluorescence. And this is most associated with, with PSGN, post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. And that's why we have this post-officer guy over here sticking his head out of the grains. And he's, remember, he was very cute, the cute post-officer for acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. And he's pushing the diffusion button over here, diffusion button for diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis. So again, if we see a granular immunofluorescence, it's probably associated with acute post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis or diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis. If we have the, the linear type represented by this linear pathway over here, it's probably associated with good pasture syndrome. And that's why we have this good pasture over here. And you might have noticed that it's actually right in the basement of this house. To help us remember that in good pastures, the antibodies are to the glomerular basement membrane. And that's gonna lead to hematuria and hemoptysis in a type two hypersensitivity reaction. We'll just make mention briefly here that treatment for this is going to be plasmapheresis. And finally, we get to the negative signs over here. You see this broccoli guy? We'll explain why he's, we'll explain why he's broccoli. And he's holding the negative signs for the negative immunofluorescence, also known as the posse immune immunofluorescence. And that's why he's holding a pasty over here, his favorite pasty, to remember posse. Now, who's the vegetable guy? He's actually a vegetable beggar. Vegetable beggar for Wegener, also pronounced Wegener which is granulomatosis with polyangitis. Negative immunofluorescence is associated with Wegener syndrome. And this vegetable beggar over here has a straw and he's chugging some beer. So chugging with straw for Churg Strauss. It's also associated with Churg Strauss. And finally, he's peeing out this microscopic microscope to remind us of microscopic polyangitis. I'm just gonna make a brief mention that Churg Strauss and microscopic polyangitis are associated with the Pianca, whereas Wegener's is associated with the Cianca or PR3 Anka. Okay, this scene was definitely on the weirder side of things, but we covered all the high old stuff that we want to be aware of. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.